What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Royal Montreal Golf Club and welcome to the 2024 President's Cup. I mean, I think there's going to be a lot of focus this week, specifically on the back nine. If you look at the United States lineup, the USA team, it's, it's impressive. It's very impressive by the players. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you, man. All right, that is uh, James Colin Davis. Before we get too far into this video, first, just want to give a big shout out to the Quebec PGA. They sent all their members an email last night saying they had four tickets for today giveaway, and I was one of the four lucky winners. So I'm here. I'm basically just gonna vlog my experience here, bring you guys along for the ride. All right, so channel is young. Pretty happy with the growth of the channel though. We're up over 1500 subscribers. I really want us to hit the 5,000 subscriber mark. Now, in order to help that happen, I'm gonna do a giveaway. One of these lovely official 2024 President's Cup flags. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave the comment done down below in the comment section. And as soon as we hit 5,000 subscribers, I will do a draw for this flag and I will ship the flag to you wherever you are in the world. We are standed on the unceded traditional territory of the Jijoge, also known as Montreal. The Ganya Gahaga Nation are recognized as the custodians of this land. It is through our presence where we can create the change we want to see. And sport gives us an opportunity to rewrite our narrative. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Yes, dear underground royal Montreal, welcome to the Royal Montreal Golf Club. Veuillez accueillir, please welcome Jim Curry. Captain for the international team needs no presentation. 2003 Masters champion, he became the first Canadian in history.
President's Cup food review. We are in Montreal, Quebec, and we are eating Poutine. If you're not familiar with Poutine, cheese curds, french fries, and gravy. Okay. It's a delicacy here. Now, I did get it from New York fries, which seems seems contradicting. You get a Poutine in Quebec from New York fries, but anyways, we're gonna give it the taste test. I'm born and raised here, so I've got a good got a good sense of what makes a good Poutine. You get a bite here, I'll give it a rating. Looks hot. Good fries. Cheese curds are good. Fries maybe a little over salted. Gravy's pretty decent. Mm. Uh, definitely not the best person I've ever had. Absolutely hits the spot. Give that a 7 2. 7 2. Solid 7 2.
All right, guys, I am now standing just to the right of the 10th fairway. Behind me here, you can see the green. There. Oh, so they are hitting back here. Wow, that is harder to do than I expected. Water on the left side of the hole. It's about 310 to reach the water. So we're going to see some of their tee shots come in, and then we're going to watch some of their approach shots into this green. That went a long way, and yeah, right over our heads.
Guys, that basically wraps my day here at the President's Cup. First off, just going over the session, dominant performance by the U.S. Uh, at this point, there is still one match on 18. It's uh, Poseidon Hoot and Pendrith have to win 18 so that the international team can eke out half a point out of the first session. Quite strong, like it's going to be a sweep, 5 nothing sweep for the U.S. after day one. I mean, they're a strong team, obviously. Uh, if you look at the world rankings, they're uh, they're going to be the dominant force. A lot of the matches were really close, though. I mean, it's not like the international team is a bunch of scrubs. The U.S. still has to come out and play good golf this week to win, and they are off to clearly a very strong start. Uh, as for my day here, I'm very grateful to have been here today to have witnessed this. It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's Royal Montreal is an incredible facility. The, uh, the logistics, the rollout, all the infrastructure they had to put in for this event is really quite impressive. I mean, we saw all the tee shots off of one. That was great. There was atmosphere. Really, really cool experience. Glad I was there for that. Spent a bunch of time on the 10th hole. I like the 10th hole because it's a demanding tee shot and a fairly demanding second shot. Really cool to see how the guys attack that one. And then spent a bunch of time on, uh, on 16, which is a, a tough par four. And as you guys will have seen, I mean, we didn't see a single putt go in, which made me feel better about my game. It's just a reminder before I wrap up here, we are doing the giveaway of the President's Cup flag. So very simple, not gonna cost you anything. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave the comment done down below. You can comment more than that if you want, but done will do. As soon as we hit 5,000 subscribers, I will do the draw live and I will ship it to you anywhere in the world. That's gonna be a wrap for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate your support of the channel. I'll be back again next week with a new video. Cheers.